with these squares in my head, a brown dot in my head, and this idea of becoming a minimalist, abstractionist. What the? What does that look like? I have no idea. And I'm researching data somehow or another because somebody said something about us, about, it's true, Latinos will be one third of the population of the United States in 2050. 66% of all Latinos in the United States are of Mexican-American descent. The researchers are finally coming up with a new way to talk about us. Rather than constantly focusing on immigration, constantly focusing on illegal immigration, blah, 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 now they're beginning to focus on what we actually, uh, what we add to the economy, what we add to the culture in a broader sense of the word. I'm working, I'm finding that now, after what, 30 or 40 years of involvement and dedication, that I have a lot of information that I could translate into art form, but I have to take my time to find out what that is. It takes a great deal of time to consolidate, coagulate, you know, an image. And if you're careful about it, you can come up with something really unique. So what happens is you build the skeleton of the dots, and then you go, well, I can fill in this area here with these little, this pattern. And so I'll do it these four places here. You see how it is, these here? And I count them before and I go, oh, if I do that, it's another 400 dots. And then I begin dotting and counting as I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 50, hash mark. Because I was thinking about, well, how would I lay the dots out? What, what, would they be big dots? Would they be little dots? What, how would I lay them out? And I was thinking about putting them on canvas. I thought, oh my god, I'm crazy. And suddenly, I saw the architectural grid paper. And I went home in a frenzy. I mean, that's how it is. It's kind of like you finally understand the meaning of your life. <laughs> right? And that's how it feels. So what I do is I, it's each square has eight. eight, eight, uh, eight each large, larger square has eight. There's eight times eight. 56 by 56. That's how I come up with the total number of squares. Then I multiply it by the percentage to tell me how many dots I can put in. Right. Okay? So this is a pictograph of the population of Los Angeles County which is 48.3% Latino, all right? And these, I painted these all by hand, and I drew all the circles by hand first, which is kind of difficult because the circles really aren't perfect, because it's handmade paper, all right? So I had to draw them out first and then paint them by hand. But once again, these aerial shots appear like many other things and become symbols and signs of many other things, not just data. So, you know what, I, you know, I love indigenous culture so much, and it just kind of, it's flowing out. And I, because I grew up so many places in the world, I love indigenous culture from everywhere. And to me, it's, you know, it's sort of that union thing where we're all one. I kind of get back to that union thing where we're all one. Little pixelated squares, right? And all I could see in my head was a brown dot, because it had to be brown, right? And in the meantime, I was researching data. So you have these disparate elements that may or may not actually come together to form an idea. An idea may not actually form to produce object. There's a lot of times you have an idea, but you can't find an object around it. And they're kind of, they kind of float around. But if you study them and really concentrate on them hard enough, sometimes they will literally come together and you'll see an image see an image. 